Hi all, welcome to Rax Infotech. Uh, in this uh, video, I'm going to share uh, related to data pump, uh, related to query. Like most of them may faced uh, when you are trying to take export of a table spaces or some data, specific complete database level or a specific table space backup. You can see the slowness of uh, the speed is not up to the mark. Okay, at that time uh, we used to get the I mean we used to have frustrated why it is taking this much time we are having 500 gb we are having 800 gb of table space it is going to take more than 16 hours more than 20 hours so in that case how we are going to avoid how we are going to make a speed up uh to take that export of uh, table space dump file so i'm going to share you a couple of possibilities we can improve or faster the table space export okay so so exporting a table space, what we are going to use as part of our data pump, we can use expdp. If it is a traditional backup, we can use only exp command or tool. Okay. Now, how the speed will be increased? Normally, sometimes it took longer time due to the various reasons, like if a disk IO, it's too much disk IO is there, high uh, IO, then obviously it is going to slow. Our network bottlenecks, like network slow, latency is very high at that time high CPU usage or inefficiency configure configuration level you are not going to make properly. These are all the causes, okay? Or these may, few of the causes. So we need to check these things also. Apart from these things, normally we have a data pump level. Uh, we have a feature like parallel option. So parallel execution option, we can enable it or we can make the dump file, if you want to create single dump file for entire 500 GB of your table space, we can do it. That is going to take, if you are going to make it a partitions, a multiple, not the partition, multiple files of the dump file, 500 GB, you are going to store it 50, 50, 50 GB. So that also somewhere we can improve it faster and reducing the log, logging overhead. Another one, redirect, okay, direct path access instead of indirect path. How we are going to use these options and excluding unnecessary data, if some data is not required from that table space, so we can excluding those things. So these are all the multiple options. We can make faster the export of your table space or data from your database, okay? These options, how we are going to use it in our as part of our export uh, expdp command, I'm going to share those things in this video, okay? Okay, first one is check Current performance uh, bottlenecks in your data. How we are going to check? Check the IO uh, performance and all. If you can go ahead and then use this command, specific table space level, you can take it. Before making any changes and analyze, what is going, uh, causing the delay? First, we need to identify. Check the IO, use the top command, and what is the load on the server? All these things you can check. And then you can go ahead and check the table, system table space. If you want to do it, I'm giving an example. Okay, and monitor, is there any weight events on this uh, table space level? Okay, or in the session level, what are all the active weight events? We need to check initially our server, how it is going to work at that time, how it is responding to the request. First, we need to check on server level, then only we can come to our table space levels. Okay, all these things, uh, we can able to identify the weight events, blocking sessions, logs, load on the server. This is related to our server level. And coming to our query, our table space, which is taking more time, we can increase the parallel options, okay? Or we can use this uh, data access method equal to direct underscore path to, uh, to speed up our export. So how we are going to add these two parameters in our export, expdp, username and password, what is our directory, where you want to store your uh, dump file, and what is the dump file name you want to store, and the log file, if you want to give, it's an optional. If you are not going to provide also, it will create automatically and which table space you want to do it, the export, table space name and the parallel option. Here it is increasing the parallels, okay? If And few might have how many parallel options I need to give. Depends upon your CPUs. If you are having five CPUs, you can give, we have five. Threads, it is going to take it, okay? It is better to less than your CPUs you can give. If you want to use optimal performance way, how many CPUs you are using on your server, you can give those many parallel options. Okay, and how many files you want to divide? Suppose this table space, your table space, it's I can take this table space as a system. This system table space is having 500 GB size. 
I'm giving an example in real time. It won't be, but just an example. Or else I can take uh, instead of system user table space. Okay, user table space. This will be. 500 GB, 700 GB, how much data we want to put, we can put it. So it's a 500 GB. So these 500 GB, I'm going to save it into 50 GB files, 50 GB, 50 GB, 50 GB. Likewise, I can use, okay? Those many files it is going to take. In that case, what will happen? We are going to reduce the complete dump file, 500 GB in single file. Instead of that, we can able to do it 10 files. Even if you want to copy this, dump files from one server to another, it's very easy to do it. Instead of copying a 500 GB file, 50 GB file, you can make it faster. Okay, that is another way. And data access method, direct math. Okay, and you can go with this parallel option. What is mean by this? So this is the definitions, pass this video and go through this theory. And step three, use multiple dump files that I already given. Okay, uh, parallel option four and uh, here it is. File size is 50 GB, that is fine. Another one, disable logging. If any uh, database allows, disable the redo or archive logs to improve the performance. If your database is running on archive log mode, disable the archive log mode and do this. Lay after uh, this EXPDP is completed, enable it again, archive log mode. That way also we can able to uh, do it. Also, you, you can minimize the redo generation. We can do because parallelly we could not put more load on our database servers okay that's where that is the intention exclude unnecessary objects if you want to exclude uh, statistics we don't need to include and indexes we don't need to include constraints if you if you don't want all these things after you import it you can do all these things again rebuild it indexes create all the run the stats gather the stats after that that's okay but if you don't want all these things you can exclude these things then we can able to faster so multiple ways we can able to faster or export. So pass this video and go through this uh, definitions theory. But uh, important thing is the query, how we need to use. And compression is the last option. If you want to use it, you can use compression equal to all option. Okay, same query, complete query. Use this option also compression. It is going to reduce the dump size instead of 500 GB. It is going to store 200 GB or 150 GB. It is going to do it. And one more important thing, don't do it on business hours, non-business hours, non-peak hours. You can execute this, uh, this export job. Okay. In that way, we are going to improve the export table space is going to take long. These mini ways, this is the maximum I have shared, whatever I am going to use it in my real time. A few of them are also pinging me and asking these uh, related questions. That's where I have shared this. Instead of pinging one person, if I can share that solution in channel, most of them, other people may use these options okay that's all about this guys uh, if you want more uh, information or more questions uh, comment on our uh, video uh, so that i can check and then i'll get back to you with the solution thank you bye